and welcome to Political Update. I'm Paul Lisnick. There's a lot of excitement and buzz in the Chicago land area about the possibility that we will get the Olympics in 2016. We've made some cuts. It's not a done deal. It's not over yet. But there's a lot of planning going on to get ready for what we hope is that eventuality. Joining me on this show to discuss the Olympics are those who know what's going on and its impact in the area. And we're joined by Jerry Bennett, who is the chairman of the 2016 Olympic Regional Coordinating Committee. But before you take the camera off him, he's also the mayor of the city of Palos Hills, the president of the Illinois Municipal League, and the chair of the Chicago Metropolitan Agency for Planning, known as CMAP. What do you do in your spare time, Mr. Mayor? Hopefully you see my family once in a while, right. which I do. <laughs> All right. Also joining us is David Bennett. David is the executive director of the Metropolitan uh, Mayor's Caucus. And an old friend of the show, Karen McConaughey, who is co-chair of the 2016 Regional Coordinating Committee for the Olympics, but also, of course, chair of the Kane County Board. And thanks for being with me as we t take a look at the head. I want to start, I guess, uh, we'll start with you. Dave, where, where do things stand? Well, at this point, uh, Chicago is one of four candidate cities uh, for the 2016 Games. That announcement was made just recently by the International Olympic Committee. And uh, they, the other three candidate cities are Madrid, uh, Tokyo, and Rio de Janeiro. Peanuts. Wouldn't <laughs> want to go to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> and um, now the 2016, Chicago 2016 organization is in the process of developing the final bid document that will be submitted to the International Olympic Committee. Uh, that will be submitted at the end of this calendar year. Uh, and the International Olympic Committee will be making a decision then on the host city by April 2009. Do you have a sense, stick with Dave or Jerry, but do you have a sense of, you know, what are they looking at? I mean, you know, it is when you think of Chicago, we all love Chicago, but Madrid, Rio, I mean, is it, or is that sort of cachet of the city, is that, is that a part of this at all? Well, you know, there's two levels of this. One, they're going to look certainly at the host city. Uh, second, there's a level of politics internationally uh, that will take place with this. Chicago's got an excellent bid, central city location, great metropolitan area, great infrastructure. Uh, that's, that's the high point of this bid. What happens internationally in, in the political arena, uh, a lot can take place within a year. Well, and Karen, I don't know if you know, I mean, Mayor Daley, obviously, you know, talk about politics, we, we've got him, and, and he's been seen. He goes to these moments, and it is, it, to your knowledge, can somebody like Mayor Daley have the kind of influence on that international scene that he has here in Chicago? Well, absolutely. I mean, Chicago is an international city and certainly can hold its own with any of the contenders. Uh, Chicago has an, an awful lot to offer, and I, and I think that, uh, I personally think we will be the one who wins. Um, uh, some of you, of course, and you're, you are the chair of the Kane County Board, you know, when we think of the Olympics, a lot of people just, it's, it's Chicago. We all think of Chicago. That's certainly what's on the, you know, the, the front page uh, of the newspapers. But the reality of it is the reach of the Olympics way beyond the city limits, which is one of the reasons you're all here. I think that's the importance of forming this uh, regional coordinating committee. Uh, we have uh, worked together as mayors and county board chairs in the past on various organizations. And the obvious thing was to reach out to the metro area, not only for support uh, of the public in general, uh, but the impact, the economic impact that that's going to take place in our region. Right. And I also understand uh, from having interviewed some people in, in Indiana, the, the reach will also be beyond Illinois and Indiana shores. I mean, how, Dave, how far will the Olympics yeah, reach be? Absolutely. Uh, Chicago 2016 has informed us that the, the reach of the Olympics will extend about a 300-mile radius around the city of Chicago. So you're talking about you know, reaching into Indiana and Ohio and uh, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, you know, places like that. And is that true wherever the Olympics go? It's this 300-mile yes, radius? Yes, that, that's, that's, that's pretty much uh, you know, tr uh, true for all the Olympic Games. Okay. It's what they think people will drive. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Uh, now, let me ask you, if we don't get the Olympics, ah, we don't want to think about that, but if we don't get the Olympics, I mean, a lot of planning is going on. Uh, it, does any building start? I mean, are there benefits to this happening, even if in the end we don't get them? I think the selection of Chicago with the existing infrastructure, uh, again, puts us at the head of the list. The type of new structures that would be built obviously would wait until after uh, the selection of the committee, but there is a lot in place right now. Okay, and, and I mean, I'm thinking of things like in, in Chicago, I know you're Kane County, but in Chicago, the, the CTA, I mean, there's, you know, lots of problems with it, lots of issues with it, but also efforts to sort of fix it and get it going. And I kind of wonder in the back of my mind, is the mayor looking ahead to 2016 saying, we've got to have some things fixed now, developed now, so that the selection committee sees that Chicago is already there. Well, and, and Jerry works with CMAP. Uh, you know, the, the city and the entire region is moving forward in uh, investing in infrastructure, whether the games come here or not. The games coming to the region is just an added impetus to, to make those investments happen. 
But of course, the problem is that nobody has any money anymore. And so, you know, who's paying for all of this? And I know the mayor has said not to worry. Uh, if it comes here, we're going to get private investors. But of course, I'm assuming you don't really get the private investors lined up until you know you're getting the game. So there has to be also your governments are, are footing some of the bill right now or not? I think in, in when the mayor announced and the committee announced uh, that they were going to go after the Olympic big, I, I think he, he truly tried to reach out to even the federal government that in the past uh, when games were hosted by either Atlanta or Los Angeles, there was an investment uh, by the federal government in that local uh, selection. Well, that makes city. it an American event. Yes, it does. It? And that's his whole point, that this is not just Chicago, not just a metropolitan area, but it's a U.S. event. Karen, talk to me about what goes on in Kane County on the board. I mean, do you, because you wear both hats, is this an issue for you on the board? Is there plan, Olympic planning going on, or is this a role separate from anything you do with your board? Well, you know, I think Kane County is no different than any other part of the region in recognizing that, uh, that the opportunities that exist with the Olympics coming to Chicago provide us with uh, the same opportunity to make economic development investment in our communities. Um, this is an international event with international visitors who will, in addition to the games, which are mostly downtown, will still find time to travel throughout the region. Uh, there will be training that goes on prior to the event that may take place all throughout the region. So there's, you know, we're, we're anticipating that those opportunities will give us that additional focus. Sort of the Olympics going on in, in China and in Beijing right now, I mean, we've been, they haven't started yet, and yet things have been happening for a very long time. I mean, we've been told, for example, that many of the Olympic teams will be here months ahead of time, and they're going to need places to stay, places to train, and they're going to look at various communities throughout the region, various facilities, high schools, colleges, and things like that. And that's what we're trying to help coordinate, uh, you know, through our particular committee. At the Who pays Congress. for that? I mean, do we do we have to provide them with here's your space, here's your dorm rooms, or does their their host country, or not we be the host country, but does their country have to sort of foot a bill for costs? Their their individual Olympic committees will address those costs. So this is a financial economic boon for Chicago and the area if we get it. And not just for a two-week period, as David has indicated. I mean, this may start a year ahead of time. Uh, so the investment in the metropolitan area, uh, the facilities, whether it's a college or dorms or, or hotels, uh, are going to uh, be very important as to, the, obviously, to the, the entire success of the economic impact to the region. All right. One of the things that we're talking about it with our coordinating committee is making it a year-long festival. I mean, the Olympics only last for, what, two weeks? But we're talking about starting in January, and to the extent that communities are doing special uh, festivals, uh, inviting uh, you know folks that are here already to participate in those festivals and make them feel like they're part of the Chicago region. Yeah, it's going to be a party. It's a party that uh, you would think everybody wants to be a part of, but the truth is not everybody supports the Olympics coming to Chicago. We're going to address some of those concerns when we come back after these words. Stay with us. On the train, I think they need a lot of work as it is, but I mean, maybe if we put the tax dollars towards that, we could get something going and maybe it'd be, that'd be a positive step because it'd be a reason to step, step up and reformat the trains. <laughs> You know, I think absolutely. I've heard a lot of people make the argument that it'll bring negative attention to the city. If you look at what's going on in China right now, people are concerned with that. But, um, you know, 2016, it's a long way away. And I think we can make some positive changes between now and then, hopefully. And uh, I think it'll be good for the city. It'll be good for the business. It'll be good for real estate. Um, you know, and right now, our, our economy can use all the help it can get.